beautiful Alafu ya gemi kia mwenge ya ya basista keri de uliwa angamdi na isu busuma belguri. During when harvesting during dry spell, they make sure that the fire droplets they make sure that they are they are being put off so that will not burn the environment. As, wako sapa ya unda mapa ya changu ni. Many other things we will do when we are yeah. going to where be the hive is. He says that uh, he has to to tie very tight so that uh, it will not get split. He says that uh, if, it, if it gets uh, it, it, the rope get untangled, some piece will be. He's making some handle here so that when he climbs, he will be hooking somewhere as he goes up. <laughs> yeah, you can see that if you get up, you make sure that uh, it's your handle here. You, you may have to make your own handle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're good. Yeah. 
This is uh, the beginning of our preparation on our hives. There are two different types of beehives in this community. One, uh, one is uh, derived from carving uh, uh, dry trees. You split a tree into two pieces. After splitting into two pieces, a lock which is cut in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, a size of this one. You split. After splitting it, you use some tools to carve, to carve in, to make it hollow. You carve both sides. Then after completion, you put them together. And in fact, before putting them together, you have to prepare two holes on each side. One entrance for peace to enter into your hive the other entrance is for you to collect your honey when you are harvesting. You see how the house looks? You close. You put grass and then you, 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 you slowly tie it that way. This is for, for, uh, for pre in the, in the, uh, to prevent from rain, to prevent it from the rain. rain. In completion, in completion of that that particular beehive, it will look like this one. You see a hole, you see a hole, you see a hole, you delete, you close it, on the other side, you see a hole, you open it and you close. The other one you will have to seal you have to seal complete, complete, where, where air will not get in, because bees requires a lot of warmth. They do so also to arrest and maybe protect them from severe cold during some uh, wet seasons. So now, from the, at this stage, at this stage now, my beehive is ready for its housing. Then what follows here is that I will talk in my language calling peace to come and come and uh, occupy my beehive from all dimensions, <laughs> from all directions. I will say, Opa, po uji gota, nyega poko po gmengoni, Opa ne Uganda, Opa ne, Opa ne Sabin, Opa ne Gizumu, Opa ne Oligo, Opa ne Guri, Tugul Gumugul, Ango Opa Sada Jo Minji, Oye Om Nyondin Nyen. That is, all the bees, uh, there is a house here, come from all directions, from uh, as far as Uganda, Tanzania, and uh, all other parts of this world. Karibuni, just welcome to the new house. <laughs> I'm not going to